lately I've seen a few videos on YouTube from what Vivi did next and the robotic allotment gardener on the free organic fertilizers that they use in their gardens. So I thought I'd talk about mine because mine is much, much cuter. <laughs> I have a sweet little rabbit and if you know anything about rabbits is they can poop. Now he is house trained, however, rabbits when they're excited, when they're sleeping, they can't always control what they poop. So I don't have a composter and I don't really feel like sifting through his litter box. So I just throw that out. But as you can see, there's a plethora of poops that I pick up, you know, from various corners of the house. So what I've done is just filled up a water bottle and tried to make some sort of compost tea. It's mostly water with, I would say, that um, this label part filled up with his poops and I've left it out for 24 hours. And I have put some holes in the top for smell and then also if there are any microbes getting started in there they'll have some oxygen to feed on now there are much more professional ways to do this as I've seen but I'm not going to be buying a fish oxygenator bubbler thing and then more supplies to create the tea so we'll just see how this works and I can't imagine that it would hurt now this is just an experiment, so this is in no way a tried and true method, but I thought I would just share what I'm using that's free and available to me. Now I have used a lot of the dry poop in mixed in with the soil so that it, it can break down and fertilize the plants over a longer time. But we're, it's about that time where I think everything needs just a little bit of a pick-me-up. So I'm going to add maybe half of the water bottle into my gallon, what is that called, watering can. Give it a little mix. I don't know what proportion that is, but I don't think it's going to hurt. I'm going to leave out or strain out the poops just because I don't want to see it on the soil surface. But you, if you just left them out on the soil surface, that'd be fine. They just compost down, whatever. But I don't want to see that. And just a plug for rabbits as pets. They are, they make such great pets. They're super smart, super intelligent. As I said, they can be litter box trained, they're be house trained, and I just think they make <laughs> the best pet. And they're also really apartment friendly because in most apartments where you can't have a pet like a dog or a cat, you on honestly don't even have to declare a rabbit because they're technically an animal that would be in a cage all the time or that's what most people think so a lot of time landlords don't have a problem with that you don't have to walk them when it's cold and rainy outside and they take just as much care as a dog or a cat would and they give you just as much love and personalized attention as a dog or a cat would. Plus, you can use your poop to fertilize the food that you're growing for them to feed them. So basically, they're free. Okay, have a great week. Bye. Also, when it's just bunny poop, it really doesn't smell.
bonus.